we limit ourselves and yet when others start trying to limit us we rebel because we want that autonomy the character in our story that we haven't really talked about yet which is part of that component of freedom right yeah. is fear yes it's sort of this ubiquitous stench that human beings seem to smell a lot and, and take in a lot and get hooked by a lot. And fear is lack of feeling in control, not knowing what our future is going to be. And certainly with COVID and how we're coming out of it, we have gotten so much, in my opinion, less bold. Yes, that's In true. our thinking and in our innovation and in our creativity because we've been so afraid for two and a half years and there's been, without getting into the politics of it, but there's been a steady dose of why we should be afraid, right? Wherever you fall within that spectrum around that topic, it's still like, I've got to be afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid because I could go out, I've got a mass social distancing, can't get on a plane. You just, you, you know, we've all been through that, right? So that's just happened over the last two, three years. But as a human species, we are prone to be afraid, right? And I think there was a great model that talks about this, a scarf by uh, a guy named David Rock, who created the Leadership, Neuro Leadership Institute, it talks about that human beings in their brains, the way they are set up, are five times more apt to see a situation as a threat as it does as a benefit. So there's something in this amygdala, this, this core first brain of ours, that still sees things from the perspective of more than not, it's a fearful thing versus a beneficial thing. And so we almost, to your point, we have to override those characteristics through our purpose of intention and our ability to trust our intuition and to really evolve as a species and as a team, as a person, what have you, to not let the fear run us, but to say, acknowledge it, and what's our purpose? What's our principle? What's our goal? I can bring that along, work it through, just like a person who's gonna stand in front of a group of people and give a speech, you still might be wanting to wet yourself because you're so afraid, but that doesn't mean you still don't do it, right? You still are afraid and you move through it, and then the next time it's less fearful, the next time it's less fearful, and all of a sudden you're a keynote speaker and it doesn't bother you as much.